Hey everyone, another lovely question here. We want to find out the radius of the semicircle. As always, if you have an alternative solution, please be sure to leave a comment below. So first thing we can do is we can locate the center of the semicircle and we can construct the following radial lines. So we have this one here and we can label this small r and we can construct this radial line as well, which we will also call small r. Having this length here, we can label this x, and this length here would be this entire length here, which is 6, and we would subtract x, so that is 6 minus x. Now we have two right triangles, so we have this one here, and we have this one here, where both have a hypotenuse of r, and we can use Pythagoras to set up the following equations. So the first one, looking at this triangle, we have the hypotenuse squared, so that's r squared, is equal to 4 squared plus x squared. Okay, we can simplify this to 16, and we can call this equation 1. For this triangle here, we have the radius squared is equal to 2 squared plus 6 minus x all squared. And we can simplify this to r squared equals 4, and we can also expand the bracket to 36 minus 12x plus x squared, and we can simplify that by doing one further step, 4 plus 36 is 40, and we can call this equation 2. Now looking at these two equations, they're actually both in terms of r squared, so we can substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So instead of r squared, we would have 16 plus x squared, which would over here. And now let's simplify this equation by subtracting 16 and subtracting x squared from both sides. So 16 minus 16 is nothing. x squared minus x squared is nothing. 40 minus 16 is 24. And x squared minus x squared is nothing. So we're left with 0 equals 24 minus 12x. We can then solve for x by adding 12x to both sides. Then we can divide both sides by 12 and have a value of x equals 2. Now that we know what the value of x is, we can substitute that into either of these two equations. It doesn't matter, but let's just substitute into equation 1. So instead of x, we now have a value of 2. We can simplify that to 4. So r squared equals 16 plus 4. 16 plus 4 is 20. To find the value of r, take the square root of both sides. So r is the square root of 20. And we can simplify the third by breaking it down into r is equal to the square root of 4 times 5. Take the square root of 4, which is 2. So r is 2 square root 5. And that is a fantastic question. As always, if you do find these videos useful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.